Camera shot. <laughs> you can see Doug's in the house. Uh, how's it rocking and rolling now? Yeah, we're coming. Okay. We're just taking the engine out of the stand. We have a oil pan on the bottom. Okay. Uh, I think that's probably back that up right now. Just a little, gotta get over this top, this up. Uh, okay, this side a little bit. And a pair of vice grips on it, sort of. Good. A little better than. Yeah, much better. Got my Gene Winfield shirt on today. Uh, every day is a school day. And today, this morning was a school day. And uh, we're just playing with the engine right now. Um, yeah, we're just playing with the engine right now. Uh, this. It, Doug, will you explain what the engine is and what it's not, so I get it right this time? Okay, it's an interference engine. That, that means that... Uh, Say that one more time. It's an interference engine. I just want to get through my head. Right. <laughs> that, that, that means the pistons can interfere with the valves under right circumstances. Yes. And the right circumstances are if the timing chain or belt were to be broken or in the wrong position, the pistons would come up and hit the valves when, when the camshafts are hold, holding the valves in the open position and bend them. Right. Okay? And the other, the other thing that can cause that is if the valves are stuck. Right. Uh, That's one thing I didn't think yeah, of when exactly. I was... Yeah. 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 So it accomplishes the same thing. So, in all other words, I was wrong on yesterday's video by a long shot. I was wrong. And I want to thank all the people for writing in and telling me I was wrong. You know, it makes you look and think, right? I would never known or learnt what I'm supposed to learn today unless I made that mistake, and that's what I'm learning. Like, I'm learning as we go. Like Doug told me this morning, he said, don't get horny until your tools hurt. <laughs> and I kind of, I agree with that. <laughs> and uh, that's what happened. And we're going with that, and that's what we're doing. But anyways, in life, sometimes you make a mistake, and you know what you do? You just bounce back and, and continue on and take it as a learning lesson. That's what I'm going to do. I probably will never forget that lesson ever again. If you know what I'm trying to say. Speed it up a bit. <laughs> no, Doug. <laughs> no, it's, it's not going to hurt it. No. Here we go. Okay. Good. Okay, bring it right down so I can level this up. Okay. Good. That's good. That's good. That's good. So that just proves that Gene Winfield is right. Every day is a school day. That's all that proves, isn't it, Doc? I'll get that, brother. Good drink. <laughs> yeah, four days, y'all aren't going to something. Oh, man. It wasn't, it wasn't too long after I said it. I started to learn. Huh? <laughs> it wasn't too long. Okay, Jack. It wasn't too long after I said it. I, I started to learn. Lots of people there. It most certainly is. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I must confess, a lot of them knew more than I did on the engine. <laughs> and what, other, what, what else am I going to say? 
The transmission fluid and the acetone. Will you explain that one again? Okay, the, uh, on, on stuck engines, uh, an old trick is mixing acetone and, and transmission fluid together. Yes. And, and putting it down in the cylinders and letting it soak. The acetone is a very strong solvent that will dissolve varnishes and, and perhaps carbon. Because you've got to have the rings flexing. Right. The carbon builds around the rings and it builds in the, in the heads as well and builds around the valves so the valves don't seat properly. So you let that soak. The, the um, transmission fluid is, is a very good lubricant and that, that seeps down and, and lubricates things. So once the, once the acetone is dissolved, things, the lubricant gets in and, and makes it uh, flexible. Yeah. I got it. I locked it in. What do you need now? You want this thing brought back on again? Just, just bring it up. We're, we're, we're going to raise it up. And pull, pull, pull the pan off. And see that's just that stand nervous. Yeah. That's yeah. all. Yeah. And then maybe get rid of the end. Yeah. Yeah. What do you? That it's a ton and a half. Ton and a half. What? Thousand fifteen hundred uh, pounds. Fifteen hundred pounds. Okay. Well, the end. No, sorry. Uh, ton and a half is is, is uh, three thousand pounds. Well, the end is six hundred. Thing, the transmission beat. That's 3,000 pounds in the full well, it says, Oh, half ton. Half a ton. Now, now we're talking 1,000 pounds. 1,000 pounds. There you go. Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe it'd be just as well to bring it in on that issue. What do you think? You say so. Well, you know what? You know what Sean Doyle told me? Safety never takes a break. No. So we can move it in. Yep. You know, we can move it in. cylinders we like to, we'd like to have a few people on the thing we'd like to look down inside the cylinder when would you like to do that well let's, let's get the pan on okay and also the compression pass we'll have to maybe try to get some compression won't we <laughs> no maybe put a little oil down there now Turn the air on, we'll take them off, we'll get the air going, the zipper laid off. We're not looking for it to seal up or anything, like perfectly before we put the oil pan on, are we? Or Pardon me? Like when you take the oil pan off. Yes. We're gonna, we're gonna clean it and everything, try to get it sort of sealed up again? Yep. Yeah, we should we shouldn't be turning the engine over without oil in it. That's what's hard on the on the uh, well, there, there was oil, remember, the spitting of that thing? Uh, it couldn't be very much so. Yes, did you want higher? Yeah, and Peter said you don't want to suck up that oil. oil the, uh... He must be cringing in his boots listening to me talk, wouldn't he? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> what? Teach that boy, teach that boy. <laughs> That's all right. He kind of laughed at me because everything I learned, I learned from Peter. Well, hey, you got to learn somewhere. There you go. Well, I can I can go at least a minute. <laughs> five minutes or less, yeah. I'm less than five minutes. Aren't I? Yeah, that's, that's fine, yeah, no. <clears throat> I'll take them out or get at it, sort of. They're happening by the looks of things. Seven sixteenths, I think. It, it could be a half. Yeah, yeah. Little not small and a half. Okay. What do you think? I'll try seven sixteenths in there. If I can find this in my beautiful oh, tool chest. There's a 7 again. There's a 7 right there. <clears throat> yes. Hard, hard thing to do is find sockets around in my toolbox. If you can picture this. Uh, I, I, I've got a half here. You want air? It's not much longer. It means one has air. 
to me about the engine which was very nice of him to talk to me gentle I'll, you know obviously I made the wrong comment you know um, yeah he's very gentle on me this morning explaining to me what I did wrong and what I said wrong and uh, it was good and I'm gonna act like Gene Winfield today every day is a school day that's what I'm gonna act like and get to work Right here is an interference engine. <laughs> right, Doug? Yes, I'll tell you right now. Yesterday I was wrong, and today I'm right. Brand new day. Mm. Right? Brand new day. Brand new day.
sit down, baby. Seat right behind you. So the name of the game today is we're going to try to change the pan as quickly as possible, you know, change it quick as possible, clean it, try to get some oil in it, and then uh, put some oil in it and run around a couple times and see what we can do over there. Yeah, I'm going to put it in like that again. There we go. That's get a wrench for it because it wouldn't go on with that. It wouldn't bite. It would not bite. Someone said that this morning on the internet. Why more mechanics should say lefty loosey righty tighty in their brain more often, shouldn't they? No, I had to do that. What? Okay, he said. Ready to tell you, Lucy? I'll tell you about the one Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown was in behind the school once. Having a wisdom. And Lucy seen him, eh? So when you make it back in class, Lucy goes, Hi, Charlie Brown. Hi, Charlie Brown. He looked at him. What the hell? What the hey? She said, She sat down and she looked at him. And goes, Hi, Charlie Brown. Hi, Charlie Brown. He goes, why do you keep doing this? Hi, Charlie Brown. Hi, Charlie Brown. She said, well, I seen you at back. He said, hi, Charlie Brown. Hey, <laughs> he said, I seen you at back, too. And I go, hi, Ruth. Hi, Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we got one left on that side. Yeah, we'll leave that one out. I'll leave that around if you want. I'll just go over here with the light, maybe. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to start right in the beginning. It's actually English, isn't it? <laughs> what? <It's> English. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Door, yeah. uh, you know, like when the doors open, the yeah. lights on, couldn't get it to go on. So I, I pulled the, the switch on the on the door cam. You would think that would do it. Yeah. Disconnect the wire. Goddamn thing was still on. I couldn't figure it out. So I went over to Peter. So Peter, Peter always has the answer. Yeah. Peter says there's a diode behind the glove box, 
and and that door back streets from this door over here. Now who would ever have thought that or <laughs> what what a way to design it. You got me? Doesn't run. I'll have to accept the consequences. Going to duck. It can be made to run. He's talking my kind of licorice. <laughs> Ether. It just gets a little more complicated. Ah. Come off there, Mr. Use the opening. Maybe I should go to the other side. Heard the yeah, pan. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Okay. One letter. In fact, yeah, uh, yeah. That's full of crud. What? Right. That's like the pan is right full of crud. No, I couldn't see that. Yeah, right. You may, you may be shocked. <laughs> I may be shocked? Oh, well, I generally am. So the reason you change the oil before you put a car away in the, in the fall uh, is, is because uh, over the over the winter, the uh, all the dirt in the oil settles you know, settles down into the bottom. So you don't wait for spring to change your oil. You change it to the end of the season and have clean oil in it. There's well, so many things I don't know. So this, this has been setting for thirty odd years. There's probably good oil in it. <laughs> a lot of cut in the bottom right where the oil used to be. Oh, yeah, I know. It's, it's probably not looking so good, is it, Doc? Probably not. Probably not. Now, do you want to, do, do I want to screw the, take this one out, you take that one uh, out, I think I can get it by hand. Uh, yeah, let me get, sure, can you get that by hand? I, this one here is coming pretty easy, yeah? Okay. That one over there is not. Okay. I've got mine pretty well out. Yep, the pan's dropping, I think you're good. I've got mine out, so. Yep. Well, also, we're hooked to this oil sending unit. Oh. Um, so I, should, I should peel that off? Peel that off before you, yes, Okay. Yes. There's another. Oh. There's a pipe that goes to the oil scent oil filter. Okay, and that's still hooked. Yeah, from the pan. Yeah, move we'll that off. See, so leave that on. No, leave that. Take it off. D disconnect it. Yeah. I don't know if you want to disconnect it. We'll leave the filter on. Yes. I didn't get my coffee. I never get my coffee. I get working every day with my coffee, Doug. I'm 
I'm gonna have to start earning a little respect. Huh? I'll try it here a little bit. Today's a school day. Everything I'm doing today, I'm learning. This is an interference engine. I apologize for my stupid comment. But you know what? I'm learning today. I really am. I learned that this is an interference engine, not <laughs> the other one. And I'm not even gonna say it. It does not go with this engine. This is an interference engine. And it does. Yeah. And just because the timing gear, I'm, I'm talking to myself, and I want you to correct me, Doug, if I do. Yeah. Just because the timing gear was not broke, yeah. and the camshaft was not broke, yeah. did not mean that it was still in time because one of the valves were stuck. And yeah. that would make it out of time. Yeah, sure would. I didn't go that far in my brain, you know? I didn't go that far in my brain when I was thinking about it. Same thing in life, sometimes when you make a decision, you don't go far enough of the thought, what it's gonna affect, what you're gonna, you know. Yeah, I've, I've got this side right up. Okay, I'm just wondering if I should try to, I got this one hanging here. I should pull and off. The, the pipe off? Well, I got the, the, the clamp off. Oh, okay. It just, Maybe it'll pull off on the... Yeah, it's gonna pull off, I think. Give her a whack. You coming off, Doug? Yeah, coming. My side's off. We uh, have to get. Uh, let's just see if there's something still connected here. Okay. Nope, that should be on. Yeah. My side is caught. Here's the rear side. Here we go. It's coming slowly. I like have a. Uh, the front is still stuck on there. Yeah. It'll come quickly when it comes. So. What? Say what? It'll come quickly when yeah. it comes. You got a hold of the hand? Yeah, I do. Just wave it. Sure, probably. Cool. Yeah. I'm gonna just take those over here. You can take a look at it inside. You know, it looks like someone took a dump inside of it. And I wonder who that was. Not me. Not me. Anyways, there's what she made. And there's what's going on. I have to take a look for myself. Mm -hmm. So what's your pickup for your, for your oil pump? There's your oil pump. Okay. Yes. This is an interference engine. <laughs> so anybody that knew the answer, congratulations. Congratulations. Right? Congratulations. They knew. Is there anything that I should be looking for, Doug, when we look underneath here? Like, is there anything? Like, it don't look dirt, like it... No, nothing, nothing too visual there. The, uh, you know, nothing's laying in the pan. No, no, if, if we were going the next step, we'd pull the caps and we'd look at the, uh, the bearings. Uh, and that would be the this test right here? Uh, yes, yeah. Well, we look visually, first of all, see if they're worn, okay. and then uh, second with the plastic gauge to see okay. if they're tolerant. Not going that far. Okay. Probably going further than we probably, I probably was, you know, the time we're spending on it. Now it's become a quest, yeah. whether it's going to run or it's not. Because yeah. probably within the first place, it probably should have just had the head taken off it yeah. and redone and gone that way. But yeah. we've decided to have a love affair with this thing. <laughs> Where, where's the pan I brought? Uh, I'm going to get that. I'm we're curious if it, if it interchanges with that. Yeah, let's, I wonder if we're going to find that now. So let's put that thing at. What? Uh, it's over there on the chair. No, I don't think it will. The uh, back seal is different. Thank. Well, here we're, we're 
we're going to tell you here real quick. You know, that sheet looks better than this. You're sharp. Oh, see? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You caught that right off the head. So what should I do? Just bite the bullet and clean that up? Probably. Trying to look and see if this would fit? Yeah. Even yeah. though? Uh, if you put a round seal on that, if, uh, I wonder what the curvature is there. Well, I don't know. Okay. I'm going to take a look and see what that is right there. Okay, there's the seal right there. There's the, I don't know, it's not even a seal, it's cork. Amen. Just cork, right? That's just cork that goes on this? Right around here? No. Nope. Right around here? Yes. Uh, it, it looks like cork, I guess. To me, it looks like cork. Well, uh, it could be neoprene. Yeah. Okay. But this one would take neoprene for sure. That, that's, that, that could be cork. Well, to me, I don't uh, know. You have a tape measure? Imagine. No, I don't use it much, but I got one. Okay. I don't use it more than you think. I'm curious how big the curvature there is. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Uh, two, seven, uh, that's five, five and a quarter. One, two, seven, four, five and a quarter. I just thought, she, you know she's been taken off at one time. That's five and a quarter. Yeah, it looks Pardon? to me like she had some soldering going on right there. Oh, well, take a look at that. Pick up? That looks like, does that look like something welded on? Sure it is. Bronze of some sort. Would that be factory? You wouldn't hardly think so, would you? You I wouldn't mean, think so, but... No. I, I, I don't know the answer. Yeah, it does look like that's... Also, if we want to take that light, there's a little light right, I don't know if it's right there or not. Okay. You take a look at your back seal and see whether... Can you turn that on, please? You can see where they can't seal. Would, would that pan even fit on where it's longer? You know what I mean? That's hard up against that pan there now. But that, that pan can come off too. Well, there you go. Make it easier, right? Eh? Uh, Doug, I want you to make a call. You want me to start cleaning the other one, cleaning the one that was on it? Probably. I'll have to get a bucket or something. What do you think? We also, there's this piece here. That piece would have to be chained, you know what I mean? That's no problem. I mean, that's just a piece of hose, but. Yep, looks the same. Well, see, this, this is what, this this whole thing is totally different, isn't it? Well, it might, it probably, it's got the same bolt pattern. If that tin was off, that, that would probably, like you, you've got five and a quarter inches. Yeah. Uh, from the seal to the seal. Yeah. Same? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Did you try the front one? Okay. Did you try this one? It's exactly the same? Uh, that should be the same. Uh, do you want to try, I throw that new one, old one. well the best thing to do is try to throw it up in there. Uh, yeah. I guess to see if it's going to fit or not. You know what we'd do if we if Jolene was on the on the ship, we'd have her Google. There's there's nothing here. What? No, no, pick up. Just further back. You see where that pickup has to go? Yep. That makes her decision right there, doesn't it? Well, I lost that thing. How do you get the oil? There's bolts on that pan and Okay, well let's take the take this off. Straighter that way. Uh, no. Ah! No, that's good. This, this thing's off. No, that spot welded on. There's no bolts there. There's nothing there. Should be. Right. I don't see how that's bolted. Yep, no bolts on that. That's spot welded right on. Totally different. Well, there's a 
surprise you. Look, a rag appeared magically. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just get some rags, start cleaning the damn bag. That's all we have to do. Rags, start cleaning the rag. I'm gonna use all the rags and transmission fluid on too. Clean the rag. I've never seen a metal one before like that. They tell me that. Uh, well, this is a rare engine duct. No, no, yes, yes. <laughs> the old ones did have that. Mm. This is early. But there's got to be a way of getting in there to clean that filter. This is one of the ones with less compression. <laughs> See, when I saw the cab go over down here, yeah? I had to do that. I can't be right. This is an interference engine we're dealing with here. I don't just see the bottom of that. Yeah, there you go. There's your eyes. Should I unbolt that all and take that all off? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll clean the inside of here first. Oh, sure. yeah. We'll get this cleaned out. Which would you rent? I right, just get it all clean. That's all that has to happen. The whole thing has to be cleaned, eh? Oh, they're clean, man. Just so it doesn't make a mess in the floor and then, uh, then pull the center of the bottom of the floor. Just put it on its edge. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Let's focus on the pan. You know what you have to do. Try to get Don back fast. Can't how long it's been, baby. Good Gonna have a long episode tonight, people. Nothing better to do, is there, baby? Huh? Nothing better to do, Doug. You can watch us mess around. Well, it could be. But if you've got nothing to do, why not? No, if you've got nothing to do, why not? And why is the letter bit letter in the alphabet that cannot be straightened? Hit it, Doug. This is something different for me, you know, getting, getting into the engine part of the situation. Uh, just because I do not know anything doesn't mean I don't want to learn, you know what I mean? Not to say I don't know anything, it's just I enjoy learning this process of it. Never had time when you're building a car, you know, you generally leave that up to the mechanic, generally, or most of it anyways. Um, the engines and all that stuff, I, I like to pick and choose, but um, in, that, in actual fact, when we're trying to build them so fast, you have to re rely on somebody else. And where these engines are so different, it's fun. 
and never too old to learn. There you go. You went to college what year? When you how old we were? Went to college after being after making having a life. Went to college and took what? Chemical engineering. At what age? Fifty. Right. Just for something to do, become smarter. Maybe, eh? yeah, I always wanted to uh, take mechanical engineering, and what kept me out of it was French. Yeah. When I went to school, you needed a second language. And I was absolutely useless in the second language. I flunked French in grade eleven. Had to take Latin. I couldn't tell you a motto today. You had to take Latin? Well, you needed a second language. Okay. And Latin was the other one. Okay. Now, why a line fool would ever take Latin? You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what they were teaching. <laughs> you need to know. They thought you need to know Latin. It's a horrible example of Latin class. All the roads you got to come down. That chick was going to wind you up. <laughs> Good work. Close your eyes. Starting one, yep, was she? Yeah. She's pretty for us, that's for sure. She, she'd probably do well with me. <laughs> right there? She was girl. She's way up there. She had, this one. she had her ways, what you're saying. She did. And you weren't messing with her. I want to clean this. How far do we go? Or are we going with this oil pan? Doug, how far are we going? Uh, uh, how far do you want to go with it? You, you, you got to clean all the inside up, and it'd be nice to sandblast the outside. No the way, you're going there today. We're going to throw some oil in there. We'll do a couple of oil. <laughs> Doug says he still don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just get this maybe cleaned up the best we can for now. Uh, I think it's great for this great time. I got a little tool here. Does that? What? 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 Get your pair of glasses though. You know what I'm saying? It's a grinder. Well, it's got a rubber end on it. Mm -hmm. And it, uh. You don't like scrapers? Well, I like scrapers, but this thing here will clean it up for you, right? So you know. You don't like scrapers, you say. Well, is any left of it when you're clean? Yeah, I got a scraper I'm using right here. See this little thing here? I'm going to stop right now. Okay. And the only reason I'm stopping is I want to put some glasses on. Something in my eye. Not worth it. Right here, honey. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Could be worse. Could be in my eye. That's right, Doug. So you should just sit back for a second, and I'll I'll clean her off. Last night, you said you got that all wrong, boy. And I had to sit all night and suffer in my wrong decision. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have a hair before I got horny. You know, look, they put, you can see where they put glass on it. Recognize 
when you're happy. Doug was happy that there was no gun. Made him happy. stuff up there, that gasket kit. Think I should go get it? Uh, you think there's one in it for this? Well, there, there's a gasket kit there I got with the engine, so sure. it might be there. We'll, we'll take a chance on the gas. I know we're making a mess, but that's what you got to do sometimes, and that's what we do. Make a mess. with the engine was telling me something. <laughs> what? Yeah, that was probably, that was probably, <laughs> what's that we had? Probably a good giveaway. <laughs> oh well. Learned something in the process. That's what I can take it as. Learned something. Head gaskets are there. Yeah. Yeah. What does it do? Take two head gaskets? No. no just to, but you can eat, use that one or that one? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I think it's, well, there's, there's probably... Two different uh, engines with different holes in them. Sometimes they. It's not looking good for the round and stuff. It's bent or. The line is like to screw you up with things like that. Is that right? Make you think about it? See, there's an, an exhaust with a gasket kit. Or an exhaust side. This one. Uh, and that, that gasket for the old pan is not there, is it? No, that's it. It does not look like it. Anyways, I'll keep going. Keep going just as quick as we can. Good episode tonight. Good episode tonight. Bad chair is wrong. <laughs> take them to uh, the environment depot. We put it all in buckets and then we take it to the environment depot. There's a lot of people, or some people around, trying to burn um, the used oil. Yep. Oh, a lot of people have been asking how we heat the shop here. Yep. The shop is heated with a, a little tiny boiler over on the wall. It's orange. You see there's got a paint gun hanging up. That's a little tiny boiler we have there. And that boiler, and there's a circulator system down there, and it runs the pipes all in the floor here, and the, and the cement is heated and have in-floor heat. And uh, that's what's that? It's a great way of heating. It is. It's just the you know. It's like same. It's the exact same thing as this. Is that taking that head off, head off and fixing it, and having you know it done right, or trying to heat this place with a wood stove or trying to heat it with the you know the, the furnace over there. The furnace one. You know, I had to spend more money. Yes, I did. I had to spend more money to have that. Put all the pipes in, yeah. but That's it works better. Doing it. Yeah. It, the engine would work better if it was rebuilt, I guarantee it. Yeah. <laughs> but that's not what we're doing because of the money situation. Are we clean uh, enough for anything? Well, Are we well, clean that up a little bit more? Let's take your air and blow that, uh, that uh, wire out. Yeah. Make it clean as possible.
Some on and put it in there. You fine with that? I, I think that's fine. It's, uh, it's, uh, that's not completely hard. Yeah, cool. Yeah. If it's not hard, there's nothing to get in the way. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Should I be doing anything over at the engine there? Uh, Should I be playing up the right side up? The other way. Let's go that way. Yeah. Make a better seal. You're right. I had a 50% chance, didn't I? <laughs> you did. So dirty. They're so dirty, dirty. It doesn't make sense when you tried that. It was blown out and then it wasn't, you know, at times, you know? It makes sense there. To me. That engine. It, it, uh, wasn't, it was blown out, but it, I could hold my thumb on it. You know, yeah, that's not it. So, so you, you don't have enough compression there to, to push, push a fly off the window. No. That's right. All right, so we're ready to go back on. The air is there. Just clean this pan up fast as we can. We want to get it back on and see what what happens. All no, we're doing is clean the pan up because Doug is telling me that we need new oil in the bottom of it, and I agree with him 100%. So that's what we are doing. We're trying to get the oil pan cleaned up for a little newer oil in it. And the reason being is that oil with the dirt in it. Um, I'm being told that the dirt stuff helps fill the journals of the engine to ruin it. Yeah, there's, there's galleries. Oil galleries. galleries. You'll find all the galleries. Uh, in fact, the crankshaft has oil galleries inside it. Okay. Uh, and we've got galleries coming up the back end there for, for the camshafts. We got lots of places for it to fail. Is what you're saying? We do. Lots of places for it to fail. So what we're going to do is try to put some new oil on it before we turn it over. Gonna play with it. Grab some rags. And if it does not work, what I'll have to do is move on. What a duck. Make a decision. Are you gonna rebuild the thing, or are you gonna keep tippy toeing around? Use it for an anchor. <laughs> an anchor. There you go. Well, it, I can honestly say it's our first jag engine we ever bought. Yep. Huh? It's our first engine we ever bought. Oh, well, the first case scenario is the parts. That's true. That's true. So it's not a great big loss altogether. Should I try to put the gaskets on that first and seal them all with them? Uh, back them off quite hard so it might just scrape yeah. some of that. Uh, we should pull the, pull the plug out of that. And, and, uh, this is, there's still stuff draining down, isn't it? Well, that was pretty clean looking. Oh, Do, you want, on the floor. Do you want me to pull that out? Yeah, I think the plug out. Okay. How long do we have, baby? 55. Oh, we're doing good. Yeah. We're doing good. Okay. 
we're not going to try to put the carburetors on. You might just spray some gas in the hole, you were saying, maybe? Yeah. yeah so, you know, as you think we're not going to get it done, we might. We might. Should be like a copper wash on that, maybe. He was right, there's more oil in it. This is an interference engine. You ever, ever heard me say anything different? Just erase. <laughs> eh, shit. You know? It's not a, like I, I, I told the magazine that there's no mistakes that are funny. This is not a funny mistake. It is something that happened that I'm trying to just laugh it off and, and learn, if you know what I mean. I'm not trying to get all serious about it. If I get all serious about it, and then, you know, I won't take the lesson, you know. I'll be fighting back with people. So, it's better just to grin and bear it, and that's what I'm doing, grin and bear it, making a mistake, and continuing on. There it goes. Yeah, continuing on. Did you get that out? I did. Clean it, everything. Um, but it is, is it drained? Yeah, I did. Yeah. You want to see it again? So nothing, nothing coming out? Yeah. Like, you know, I did jerk her a couple times, and mm -hmm. there's no real... Yeah, you want to spray that stuff in there. No, you did. That's why I took it off. Yeah. It's right here. Right there. Yeah, I know. Let me get a little bit more. I was just, just didn't want to wait for that long, you know. Don't be in a hurry, you know. Just like you told me this morning, right? Yeah, that's pretty dirty, yeah, isn't it? Good to make. I can tell you one thing. This engine fires, you're going to get a big old hell yeah. <laughs> and if it don't, I'll look like a sad puppy dog. It's fire, but it might not do anything. It's fire, Some, some, sometimes, yeah, sometimes the old, the old truth is a big, big black man, but, uh, but I, I had a pen, yeah, I didn't know, uh, I brought pen, yeah. I think we should glue them on first. Sure. And then that way there, we go stick it up there, we're not, you know, black and sliding all over, we glue them on first. I can go on the bottom of that engine there and clean that up. Where'd they go? Right there, look. Oh, that's the line. I'll let you play with that if you want that. Take it off. The mission will wash it there, too. That was one of the... I'm just gonna... Should we just leave them on? Put it right back on? Is this what they... You know what I mean? Uh, well, I mean, let's face it. If it's gonna, if we're gonna use it, like, I'm gonna end up cleaning it a lot more than this. So I probably would end up taking it off and getting a new gasket full kit for it. But, you know, if I'm going to use it in a car, I'm going to have to tear it back down. I'm going to clean, I'll be, I'd end up cleaning that, that better, the whole engine better. So more or less, let's just, I'd say we just put it back on, get it holding oil. Okay, there's no court gas in the back still on place. Yes, I think so. So I just put it back on. We got the oil cleaned out of it. We're not going to put new gaskets in it. Because if it's no good, well, there's no sense of us doing all the new gasket stuff. So we'll just put it on with the old gaskets. Let's, let's wipe those down well first of all. You want, no. And then we'll leave those gaskets off. 
and we'll put it right off top of these ones. And then after, if we see if, it, if it's any good at all, and then, then we can do it. Because let's face it, the whole thing has to go on over. Just clean this one. Just wiping it down, you know, trying to... I think we'll be good. Yep. Gas is still there. Yeah, we're tickety booing. Ouch! I'm going to shut that door so it doesn't stick in it. Are we ready, Doug? down just for a sec though. Okay. No. Um, I can. You getting a nut in there or a bolt in one side? Well, what's going on here? I still got this rubber hose in this side. I can let it down just a hair. Oh. I guess let it down the front maybe. Just a little bit if we can. Yeah. Back down again. Get this hose on. Let's not bring it all the way Alright. Now we're cooking with gas again. Okay. Good. Oh shit. This fucking, I got it. I got it. Where, where are the bolts? Right, right beside. Hey, <laughs> dumb smoke. Fair is fair. Just get one started in the middle there. I gotta sweat the nail. Certain ones for certain places, or they're all no, the same. No, they're all the same. Man. You can't can't be on the. Boy, is that hold out like that for a moment? Oh Boy, yes. I'll let you get a one on there. Hold, hold, hold it. Hold it. Yay! <laughs> Started there. All right. If you want to grab the air, Doug, and get yours one socked up in there, would that help it any? Or probably should leave them all loose. Right here. Sweating, and I don't know if I get that one to start. Come on. Nope. <laughs>
over my way. I got one started. Oh, okay. <laughs> that one wasn't it. There for some reason. Need a longer one there. I need a longer one. The shorter ones are longer ones, eh? Shouldn't be. Well, there is. Well, you see a shorter one. Uh, shorter ones are the front. Um, come on. Come on. Yeah, there, there's, uh, there's a couple of short ones in the front that interfere with the, the bolt going the other way. I think that one took. Good. Well, I'm not sure. <coughs> that hand shouldn't fall down, should it? No, it, should, it can't fall down. Let me start. All right, I got to get started here. Started to hold it square, and we're going to snug it a little bit. Slowly but surely. How long are we now, baby? An hour and ten. Oh, good. We're doing a good one tonight. It's a burn burner tonight. See how, see how this bolt goes through here? Yeah. That's got to be a short one. Okay, I think that's where I put a short one, actually. Is that short? I think that's the short one. Is it? Yeah. Uh, well, they all seem to be the same length right at the present moment. But that, was, that went in there. That's fine. It's the only short one I know of is because of this bolt here. Yes. And it touches up on it. That one's in there. Uh, There's a knot in the washer that has to go up on the front, but it seems to be a hard one. Now, with any kind of oil work long this new for now? Yep, because you're going to dump it anyway. So. Yeah. When, when you're operating the engine, any British engine, you, you put that oil in that I gave you. Okay. Uh, it, it's got uh, it's all the good stuff in it. Uh, there, there's a thing in there to. What is it? Uh, I'll think of it in a minute. Uh, stuff for camshafts? Yeah. Yeah. the socket I've used it in the back here to get in. Yeah. Watch him head her back though. Alright. He's going for it. Do you have any more on the other side to have to go in?
certainly will. This is an interference engine. Well, I have to remember, you know. I mean, I gotta take it, put it through my brain, man. Back in your memory base. That's a word I don't use very much, you know, interference. I got a lot of it playing hockey, maybe, but I never use the word much, so I have to mention. You know what this is, don't you? Your spark plugs are. The end. You know what this is, don't you? Jeff showed me the other day timing. Timing mark? Yeah. Now yeah, he's quizzing me on camera. <laughs> Getting me. That's okay, though. I'm willing. I'm willing to learn the lesson. I'm willing. Because Jeff was all in there. No, <laughs> this is an interference engine. <laughs> yeah. I saw Jeff the other day. Boy, he's amazing, isn't he? Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely amazing. You see, you see the gauges and stuff? I didn't see. Uh, you showed me the gauges when they came, but I haven't seen them in my dive. I go to tighten them, that's all. I want to cross red nothing, do I? Doug? Pardon? So I don't want to cross red nothing, do I? No, 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 no. Just making sure they're up in there. Feel real good, but it's going a little hard. And there's all right. Let's it up, guys. You no, know, the last one in there it feels a little, a little bit hard. I'm gonna hit it with this one. This one here feels good, so I'll do this one.
together just like that. I'm going to turn these ones in. One felt like I'm going to have ice hard. softer touch. Well, they know when to quit. <laughs> they know when to quit. Yeah, a man. woman makes a better mechanic because she knows when to quit. Well, turn the bolt in and uh, it's, uh, gets it snug and he figures, ah, that's, I'll just give it one more turn. <laughs> Snap. Yeah. There we go. That's a woman way. knows how to quit, right? It's no fun when they go snap. as we can to get this oil pan on so we can dump some oil in it and check it over. That's what we're doing right now. Get this oil pan on so we can check it over and see what we got. I think I want that air for some reason. I have to have a socket on this. You got the socket on? There's another side of there, is that for sure? I'm going to use yours. Okay. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Trying to get it done. And there's two for the back left there, see them? I'm, I'm good. I need a wrench on this side and just tighten that up. I'm not sure if you need the. Oh, 
Who's this? Pump's going? Uh, no, the one that uh, Jim bought is still there. Uh, he hasn't taken it yet. The B and A going? Uh, They're gone? I think everything's spoken for. If it's okay. Gone. I thought it was quite, you know, I know it was a bit of money, but it still was a reasonable price for what has gone on with them. There's a lot of money to fix. Uh, I think I remember that boat picture though. Oh, that was a beauty. Oh, yeah. Oh, it, uh, it looks like a, and, and it was taken by a photographer that was uh, in a boat alongside it. The, the boat looks like it's being swamped. Okay. Um, and, uh, this photographer took the picture of it. Damn. Don't mean to hold the light. Yeah. yeah. One that wants to be on everything. There you go. I think you're scared of it. Extension, if you can, please. Thank you. That's extra. Oh, no. Yeah. It was a real neat little uh, Watkins. Uh, a what? Watkins. Uh, you know, uh, you've heard of Watkins that used to go around in the in the country uh, selling drugs and, and uh, medicines and things. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like an Amish buggy with with two horses and a watch. Watkins. Okay. So and you got that. I bought that. Probably because you're the better person down it. You got it. Horseman and all. Uh, I guess one bowl. No, that's that's not that didn't come out of this. No. Um, I don't know if we're all in there. Oh, right here. I think we, we got one on this side needs to win. Have you got the bowl? No. Okay. Have you got yours both in the back? Uh, no, I, I, uh, you have to put that in there first. Yeah. And um, you'll need that extension. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like that. Yeah, and then you'll need to go with the skinnier part to get in there. Yeah. That's right there on the end. Loving it. trying as fast as we can. So what comes next? What comes next? What comes next, Doug? Take the head off. No. <laughs> you said take the head off. We're going to put some oil in it. We're going to wheel it over. That's what we're going to do in it, Doug. You want? Yeah, that's what I want. You're going to spray some gas in it? You can put get fire to it? It probably doesn't. Why? Yeah. Yeah. Put another extension on that. And push up on that. Where are we getting into two hours, are we? We're one twenty-five right now. One twenty-five? Oh, we're doing all right. Doing all right again. Here to go. Started the finish. He started dating to take a hit off. 
Yeah, machine the head through the valves, do everything, put it back together, have it run the same day. Wow. Well, he's done it a few times then. Yes. Yeah, yes. Well, that takes a very accomplished mechanic to do that. Very accomplished. Well, if, if I was putting that back together and setting the valves, it would take me at least a day just to set the valves. You gotta mix and match the wafers until they uh, until they get the, the right uh, uh, valve clearance. There, that's done. Oil pan cleaned and on. I'm gonna bring this up over your head there, Doug. Okay. So you checked all the all the holes, did you? Oh. Well, yeah. If there's something leaking, it's probably just because we got one loose. That's all. Just take her out. I'm not worried about anything leaking right now, to be honest uh, with you. And, and the plugs in tight. We're gonna check that. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, I didn't put the thing back on. I'll put that on right now. Yep. The hose. Screwdriver, turn that back in. Yeah. I have screwdriver in the Where I put it? Nobody knows. Nothing else. I got all Bernie's parts soaking in in Penetrix crown, so they'll all be usable when it comes time for someone to use them. <laughs> Nothing else, you know, you know. So we're gonna let this back down the ground. Yeah, sure. I went back down the ground. Put that back on. Everything away. Ice grips on that. Just a little better when you get turned, you know. Yeah, Right off now. No. Does that matter? No. I'm you okay with that? No. Do we want to take this off? No. no. Okay. Uh, in order to get oil down the oil holes. Yes. Yeah. I got a can here and just dump it in. No, no, you can't. That's the problem. <laughs> you want to put it in a funnel? No. Funnel. down in these holes like I mean, uh, put down there can we not yeah I, I guess you can I, I was looking for just one or two holes but there's, there's small tight holes so. okay yeah, I'm gonna yeah, get some oil yeah. um, I like to use this kind of oil in all our tires this is what we use 5w huh 5w40 Rotella that's what we use in all the cars yeah. just for we should have taken that filter off before we too much further. Yeah. I can fill it with full oil. Um, can we hold that funnel? Yeah. We should go the other way. Or? Wow. This engine getting new oil. Huh? It's like getting a checkup. <laughs> At this point, it's a waste of good oil. <laughs> If, if nothing happens, it will be. Yes, it will be, Doug. Yes, it will be. But we'll get an A for effort. Oh, yeah. A for effort. And probably a, a D for not getting it right. <laughs> We're just loading right with some oil. Will we have to put that back cam bang thing on so the yep, oil didn't yep. come shooting into that thing? Yep, yep, before we turn it on, we do. I'm going to take the oil filter off and 
change that as well and do too much in here. I think I had a problem with my printer. I think this uh, I'd say seven meters. Well, keep dumping here when you get around to the engine. Maybe we should look down the cylinders in the end of the video, and then tomorrow we can do a do a startup. <laughs> well, you're optimistic, aren't you? Hmm. Optimistic people, you heard it. Doug said it. I'm optimistic. The old flathead Ford is running 35 pounds compression, but this isn't even registered. <laughs> Oh, okay. we're going to jug down for a second. Yeah. Check your so, there, see if it breathes. Ramp all that out again. And then the other bird. Oh, another drop or two. He said, I got a drop or two. So after I pour this oil in, we'll get the camera out and we'll take a looky-poo down the cylinders just for everybody at home and then we'll go from there. I want to do that first now rather than bring it and waste time because uh, we can do this after. Yes, you want to look at this? Okay. Um, you had a camera. You didn't bring your camera, did you? Okay, we have the other one, and I'm gonna have to find a jack ring. It's in a box. So yes, I know that. I moved it because I was trying to clean up. And where did I move it to? Uh, it's not that up there, is it? I don't think so. It's going around the corner here. It's around here somewhere. It's right here. Here, I think. It's, uh, it's on it, the baby? Right down here. Okay, cool. You got it. Now, will you be able to see anything, Doug? Will, be able, will you be able to see anything with the transmission fluid in there? Or? Well, I don't think there's much transmission fluid okay. in there. This camera's going to tell us what we're going to see, isn't it? Yeah. This camera's going to tell us what we're We're going to go for the inside the cylinders. We're going to check it out. All right, Doug, you know how to use this thing? There's the camera on the end of that bad boy, I guess. Can I hold this so the people at home can see what's down in the cylinder? Sure. Oh, just let me get that little piece out of there, will you? Just show an electric charge for the pieces. We're going it outside the hole. Don't see very much, do we? That's what I'm saying with the transmission. No, don't see Pull around and see if you get transmission fluid on the end of that thing. And put her down gently, not too far. Maybe if I turned it, brought it up. Looks like the piston's a little rough on the top, that's all. Looks like carbon on top of the piston. You bring that back up some, Doug. You see something? Hey, try in the next hole. Yeah, see the piston there? See any wangs on her? Just looks like it's wet, doesn't it? I don't get a good look at it. How about we turn each cylinder up? Um, okay. This piston's all the way up. Doug, let's try number one, and then we'll turn each one so they're up. That's not number one right there. You should be able to see the top of the piston. Or I mean, the, the, the valve is closed. And that's the one that we're having problems with. How does that show anything? We've blown the oil out of that one. You see anything there? Okay, we're down. You had something there for a bit. Did I? Okay. Yeah. There, there, I'm just up from the piston now. Maybe wipe your... 
Well, we see something now. Hmm. Uh, there's a dial on that thing. Uh, a dial on what? Uh, what, what? What is this showing here? What's this? Oh, you're... Different modes. Snap on that. Okay, there, see something there now? Yeah. Yeah, now can you pull it back out a little bit? What's this right there? Can you pull it back up? It's the edge of the piston, I think, the, the perimeter of the piston. See that little weld rod right there? Mm -hmm. A little piece of weld? Yeah. I don't see any gaping holes on the top of them. <laughs> this, you think there's gaping holes on top of these things? I've seen them that they were. Can can we can we float throw it over real quick and try to get the transmission transmission fluid out of it and blow that out? Maybe we can see more. Sure. Let's do that. Okay, we'll do it real quick. Just so we'll hook the battery up. I'm gonna set this in the way for a minute. I'm going to grab this booster cable behind you, sweetheart. Get the, the battery. Don't want that on the ground most times at all. We don't, but just for now. Wheel it over. All we're trying to do is clean out some of the transmission fluid. There's a live for you, Doug. Yep. And, uh, So, if you want to have it turn your engine over just by starting it on the floor, he's got it live on the battery and he's got it live on the starter. Then we're going to put the ground on the battery and then we're going to ground the engine. I'm going to throw a rag over top of that just because it's probably going to shoot it in the air. Just like Doug, I'm going to throw a rag on top of that. I think I will. You're no fun. What? You're no fun. You're no fun. Well, look what happened last. Still up there. That'll be there for. To the end of time. Go ahead, Doug. Okay. Well, let's turn it. I'll just turn it over slowly and see if we can see something now. I'll turn it over here by the by the crank with that uh, wrench. Was it? Right over behind your foot, Doug. <coughs> Turn it over like this. I'm going to give you back the camera, Doug. If you want to wipe the end off, you can just lay that camera there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that open so the valve is open and the piston's up. Why is that a different sound? It like, it sound like hitting an oil pan, doesn't it? Yeah, something done at the back here with this. Yeah, start it. No big deal. No big deal. Can you see anything on top of that? Uh, I can see some oil. What do you see? You're right down. You can see that right there, Doug. Well, Doug, take a look no. down there. You can see right in your hole. Yeah. If you want to see down in there, you can see right in the hole. Can you see anything down your piston? I can see right down with the light on. I'm just looking at the screen here. It certainly looks like crud on top of it, doesn't it? Yeah. Want to try the next one? Let me turn this one. Actually, I'm going to well, uh, just leave it. Uh, you don't have to bring it up. Yeah, it is dirty. In there. I don't see no holes or anything like looks suspicious no. yeah. if you know what I'm saying. Uh, <coughs> Bless you. Mm. Bless you, Dad. Like we're
giving it an ultrasound. Yeah. You point that thing down straight there. Yeah. There you go. You point it down straight. Yeah, you good, Lord? Yeah, so you can see that now. You just hold that, get your camera there and hold it right, right straight down on it. And we can see a good picture. See, you get it angled off there a little bit. Oh. Try. See that one here, can't you? Just a little bit of carbon on top of the piston. Well, did you just Cylinder put the walls. acetone down just a once? Yes. Okay. Just hold it straight down down there. There's the piston on that one. There's no... It's the black stuff on top. Yeah. Black stuff yeah, would be carbon, carbon, I guess. Carbon, yeah, but, but, yeah. yeah I, like, I mean, I can see the piston right there. This is clean, clear as a yeah, bell. You see that? Yeah. Like with the light on, you can see just... You can tell there's no... Let's just see if we can't hydro lock each one you know, with a bit. With a bit of transmission fluid? A bit of transmission fluid and acetone. So that's what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do for now. We're going to take and put um, acetone and transmission fluid in a, in a hole. The rest of the holes, we're going to leave the spark plugs out. Well, that's the only way we can hydro lock the certain cylinders at a time, can it not? You know, do one at a time, can't we? Probably. So we'll, we'll end up putting transmission fluid and acetone in one hole, putting the spark plug in one hole, and then turning it over. And then hopefully it will hydro lock and try to see what happens. And then after we do that one, we'll do that one, then we'll do all six of them. And then maybe tomorrow we'll give her a squirt squirt or whatever. Maybe even later on today, you never know, we'll give her a squirt squirt and see what happens. But we're going to sign up from there because it's quite a long video and Jolene's arm's getting tired, no doubt, in my mind. We did the best we could do. This is an interference engine. <laughs> it's an interference engine. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy that everybody, you know, picked up and said something because there's no, you know, we all need to know the truth. That just proves it. We all need to know the truth. And I did not have the right information when I was talking last night. So I'm going to backtrack and, and say I'm human, but I learned today. Every day is a school day. That's what Gene Winfield told me.